Welcome to part two on my series of tech tips on creating threaded features. In this example, we'll create what I'll call simplified threads, or maybe a kind of a two and a half D type of a thread. To do this, we'll use a revolved cut rather than sweeping an actual 3D profile. The benefit to this approach is that we still get a nice visual solid representation of the thread, but it's not a true helical geometry, which means that there won't be as much compute time involved in creating the feature. To begin, I have a part that has a thread blank region with a major diameter of about 3.125 inches. We'd like to put an 8-pitch V-thread along the length of that blank. Let's orient ourselves in a front view, which puts me right into basically the side profile. Let's insert a reference axis through the middle of the part. From my reference geometry command, I'll choose the axis feature and just pick on one of the cylindrical faces. This will create a reference axis right along the center line of the part, which we will then conveniently use to create our revolve feature and our pattern feature. Still in the front view, I'll now go to my design library, expand underneath my thread profile directory, and find the sketch block for my 8-pitch V-thread. Review the video uh, sec segment 1 on how to create blocks for your profiles if you haven't seen how to do this. Now we can drag and drop this 8-pitch V-thread. Click, drag, and release. Once I release the mouse, I can now move this, this sketch block about. Meanwhile, I can still rotate, zoom in and out, and so on to get a really good idea of where I want to place this. Now the insertion point on all of my sketch blocks is at the sketch origin, which you can see where my cursor is. This will be the place where SolidWorks wants to infer the attachment point. So notice as I move my mouse over the various geometry items, SolidWorks will snap that into place. Let's position our V-thread right at the vertex where our, our thread blank begins. Click to release, and then hit escape to exit out of the block insertion mode. Notice that we're still in sketch mode, but we don't need to be, so let's just exit the sketch. Now we have our sketch inserted, and we want to use that profile to make a revolved cut. I can pick on the profile, and then from my features toolbar, choose the revolve cut command. I do need to specify the proper axis of revolution, so by selecting in this selection box, I can now choose my reference axis feature, that was created earlier to specify the axis of revolution. The cut revolve has now been created. We have one profile that's been, uh, that's been cut. That's this cut revolve feature that you see here. For clarity, we may want to apply a color to that feature. From my task pane, I can go to the Appearances tab, expand under the desired appearance, and then just drag and drop the color into the appropriate feature on the Feature Manager tree. That applies the color just to the faces belonging to that feature. Now we're ready to take our cut revolve and pattern it along the length of the thread blank. Choose the Linear Pattern command. For the direction, once again we'll specify the reference axis. And in the Features to Pattern, we'll pick our cut revolve. We'll need to experiment with the direction, spacing, and number of instances. The spacing would be equal to the pitch. So for an 8 pitch, we can enter in 1 divided by 8. SolidWorks will do the math for us. And then just using the visual preview, we can adjust the number of instances so that the proper number of threads are created. Notice in the pattern dialog, the option that chooses propagate visual properties. With this option enabled, the red color that was applied to the first cut revolve will be applied to the pattern. And that looks really nice. Now we have our V-thread profile made out of revolved features which have just been patterned. This is a nice convenient way to get a, a decent 3D representation of the thread without the computational expense of a true helical geometry. Stay tuned for another example that shows how we'll create drawings from this part.